the king sent them in the direction of the Syrian army saying, go and see. And they went after them to the Jordan. And indeed, all the road was full of garments and weapons which the Syrians had thrown away in their haste. So the messengers returned and told the king. Then the people went out and plundered the tents of the Syrians. So a seed of fine flour was sold for a shekel, and two seeds of barley for a shekel, according to the word of the Lord that Elisha spoke in verse 1. Now the king had appointed the officer on whose hand he leaned to have charge of the gate. But the people trampled him in the gate, and he died, just as the man of God had said, who spoke when the king came down to him. So it happened, just as the man of God had spoken to the king, saying, two seeds of barley for a shekel and a seed of fine flour for a shekel shall be sold tomorrow about this time in the gate of Samaria. Then that officer had answered the man of God and said, now look, if the Lord would make windows in heaven, could such a thing be? And he had said, in fact, you shall see it with your eyes, but you shall not eat of it. In other words, because you doubted it, you're being funny, making sarcastic yeah, remarks. Preach. You're going to see it, but you ain't going to be able to participate in it. In yeah. yeah. last verse, it says, and so it happened to him, for the people trampled him in the gate, and he died. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, the hearing, and the doing of his word. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Uh, such a profound story, a lot of prophetic words there being spoken by Elisha. There in that text, uh, I solicit your prayers on this morning to help me uh, dissect this and perhaps bring out uh, different revelation. Though the king of, Syria, of Israel, excuse me, blamed the Lord for the calamity that had came upon Israel and Samaria, God still had a word for the king and the nation. And guess what? It was a good word. You see, not every word that comes from God is a good word. Some words are words of judgment and persecution. <laughs> but here, in spite of the fact that the king doubted and blamed God for the, for the condition of the country, God still released a word, a, a good word, and allowed that good word to come to pass. Preach. God's promise to Elisha was that in 24 hours, uh -huh. 24 hours, the economic situation in Samaria would be completely reversed. Instead of scarcity, there would be such abundance that food prices would, would radically drop in the city. And how many of us could use a blessing within the next 24 hours? I preach. Have a situation in our life that within 24 hours, preach. Would love for it to be changed completely around. It was amazing how situations, whether they be good or bad, can, can do a complete reversal in such a short span of time. Yesterday, I seen a highlight. The day before, I seen a highlight. The team was down in basketball. And they did the unbelievable. They threw the ball the length of the whole court. And a guy jumped up with three people around him while he was in the air and tipped it in the, in the hoop to win the game at the buzzer. That, yeah, yeah, that, that was a complete reversal of fortune Preach. because everybody there thought that the other team was going to win. Mm -hmm. That it was virtually impossible for the outcome to be changed. But don't you know that's how God does for us? Preach. That he can change things around in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. Yeah. Like Elisha said here in the text, that about this time tomorrow, say to somebody here on today that about this time tomorrow God's going to move on your behalf. Preach. Preach. You can be broke right now. Preach. But by this time tomorrow Preach. you can be sick right now. Preach. But by this time tomorrow you can be unemployed right now. <laughs> but by this time tomorrow you can be in the pit right now. Preach. But by this time tomorrow, <laughs> you can
to be in the backside of the desert. But by this time tomorrow, uh, some, somebody ought to give God about this time tomorrow praise in this place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About this time tomorrow, we can make go for a night. But joy cometh in the morning. Hallelujah. About this time tomorrow. Praise. Hallelujah. When Elisha prophesied God's deliverance, uh -huh. the king's officer said it, it couldn't happen. That's why it behooves us to, to be selective with whom we share things with. Preach. Yeah. See, not everybody is for you. Not everybody has the same level of faith as you have. Preach. And you can, and some folks are some dream killers, <laughs> some vision killers. And you, you, you share with them what God has shared with you, and they, they shut it down. They tell you it ain't possible. You're crazy. You must have ate too much before you went to bed last night. God did not tell you that. <laughs> the officer's faith and hope were completely gone. But God came through anyway. See, in order for his hope and faith to be completely gone, he must have had some hope and faith at one point. Preach. But in spite of that, God came through anyway. And there's some of us today whose hope, whose faith has been depleted, has been deplenished because of situations, because of circumstances. But I want you to know that God is going to come through you for you anyway. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Sometimes we become preoccupied with our problems and, and overestimate our enemies when, when instead we should be looking for opportunities. Preach. Rather than focusing on the negatives. We should expect God to be faithful in all situations. Preach. To say that God cannot rescue someone or that a situation is impossible demonstrates a lack of faith. Wee. The situation may be impossible for, for you and I, but it's not impossible for God. Preach. God is the God of the impossible. He makes the impossible possible. The king's officer doubted the prophecy. And his doubt was based on several faulty promises, or premises, excuse me. The first faulty premise was he doubted the power of God. Yeah. How can you doubt the power of God? But he doubted it. But if God willed it, he certainly could make windows in heaven and drop down food from, from the sky for the hungry, besieged city of Samaria. He did it for the Israelites in Exodus chapter 16 when he sent the Nana and Quail. Even in Malachi 3 and 10, it says, bring all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. And try me now in this, says the Lord of hosts. For if I will not open for you the windows of heaven Preach. and pour out for you such blessing Ooh that there will be not room enough to receive it. The second thing that the servant did wrong, the king's officer did wrong, was, was the king's officer doubted the creativity Preach. of God. Preach. He doubted the power of God, now he's doubting the, the creativity Preach. of God. In the mind of the king's officer, the way food could come into the city was from above. Because the city was surrounded by hostile, besieging armies. So his mindset was there's no way that, that food could penetrate right. the armies that, that had him surrounded. So the only way they could come was from above. Yeah. He had no idea that God could bring provision in a completely unexpected way. We have to be make sure that we're not guilty of doubting God's creativity in our lives. Preach. Isaiah said, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. See, just because we can't think it, don't mean that God can't think it. Preach. Just because we can't figure out a way, Preach. Don't mean God don't have a way. Because his ways, his thoughts are, are above ours. Preach. 
Sometimes our, our faith only allows us to see one way. Our faith can impair us to have only tunnel vision and we only can focus on one thing. And we're too busy focused on that one way, that one thing that we think God's going to work. But yet God is doing something totally different. And here he thought that the only way God could, could bless them with food was to come down 